Hello, and we're here to talk about how to install the Microsoft Windows Server 2019. Before we go on to the demonstration, let's talk a little bit about the hardware requirements. You'll notice that these requirements seem fairly low. Again, these are the minimum requirements for a production system. You'll definitely want to consider adding additional resources. However, the basic minimum is a 1.4 GHz processor, either 512 MB or 2 GB of RAM, and 32 GB of storage. Of course, consider having a network card that can support 1 GB connections. And you might need some other resources such as a DVD drive if you're installing from an optical media like a DVD, and potentially trusted platform module on your hardware if you're considering doing BitLocker. Let's go ahead and take a look at the demonstration of the install process. So we're going to start with our installation of Windows Server 2019. We just booted off of our 2019 ISO file. All right, so on this first screen, we can choose the language, time and currency format, and of course, keyboard or input method. I'm going to go ahead and click Next and hit the Install Now button for a brand new installation. Setup is starting. For this installation, we have four options. This ISO image uh, provides us with the ability to either install 2019 Standard or Data Center and in two different formats. The first option, 2019 Standard, will install a core version of the operating system. This means that there will be no graphical user interface. The second option is called Desktop Experience. If you select this option, you will have Windows Server 2019 standard installed with the graphical user interface or the GUI. Third option is 2019 Data Center. This allows for additional features and functionality and allows for the hardware to have more resource ability. Again, this option has no graphical user interface. The fourth option is Data Center with the graphical user interface installed. We're going to choose the second option for this demonstration, which is 2019 standard desktop experience. I'll go ahead and click Next. Read over the terms and accept and hit Next. We're going to do a brand new install, so we're going to choose Custom Install Windows Only. Here we've been presented with the uh, storage that the uh, operating system has access to. In this demonstration, we have a 100 gigabyte virtual disk presented. We're going to accept that and click Next. This process should take just a few minutes while the files are copied from the ISO image onto the virtual disk. All right, so the files have been copied. We need to go ahead and restart our system. So I'll click the Restart Now button. Okay, so we've reached the point where we need to provide a password for the administrator account. I'll go ahead and type in a password and hit Next or Finish in this case. Our settings are being finalized and we should be able to get to a desktop. Let's go ahead and sign in. And from this point on, you should be ready to continue to the configuration of the operating system. For example, you may want to change the computer name. You may want to assign a static IP address, modify the firewall rules, and other types of administration. We can do this easily from Server Manager. So using Server Manager, we can go ahead and on the left side, click on Local Server. And you'll find some of the more common links here that you can use to connect to these applets and make some of these modifications. Again, like changing the computer name, uh, potentially modifying the Windows Defender firewall. Um, you can enable re or disable remote management, remote desktop, as well as assigning a static IP address. Well, that's the end of this video tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Please support us by taking a moment to like, subscribe, and comment below. Again, thanks for watching.